All right, hey everyone, good morning. Um, just trying to set up the document camera. I want to have this as like a, a map of what's going on in the games. I'm going to show you. So, yes, yeah, tournament. Um, so what happened last night uh, is I ran a knockout tournament from all the submitted uh, agents for Project Part B. Um, basically, for uh, I grouped you into groups of three, your, your teams, into groups of three teams, and then ran... Um, ran a game with uh, people as red, green, and blue, and then just rotated that until we got around, um, and everyone had a shot at all the colors. Uh, and the person who had the most wins out of that sort of progressed on to the next round. But if you uh, had the second most or third most, unfortunately, that was the end of your story in the tournament. Um, I, a knockout tournament like this is kind of, uh, I'll say a disclaimer straight up, um, not precise enough to get um, a good ranking of... Um, the whole class, it's, it's, it works, uh, it, it's sort of reliable at the very top. Um, the winner, we know, is sort of the, the strongest player because they've, they've beaten um, enough other people to, to guarantee that. But everyone else, if, you, if you're not in the finals, don't take it personally. We're going to benchmark separately from the tournament. It'll be much more reliable, and your performance mark, uh, when you get that back, um, will be uh, independent of this tournament. Um, so this is just a bit of fun, basically. Anyway, so I'm going to um, talk about, um, I don't have time to show all the games, obviously, because we ran a lot of games last night, um, just the final game, uh, or the final match, which involved multiple games, between the, the top three that came out of this tournament. And um, I'm going to start by giving a special mention to the top five teams, and they were uh, these teams. So if you are the team ZW, or Bayesian Basilisks, or Checking System, or uh, how do you say this one? C3P0024 is how I've got it. But I know it's C3PO and Comp3024 kind of meshed together. Um, I'll just call it C3PO. Uh, and Yin and Yang. This, these were the top five. We got to this point. The numbers didn't quite work out to have three at the end. So I ran a round robin between uh, these five. And the final was then played between um, ZW, C3PO, and Checking System. Uh, so congratulations to those teams. Um, and that's what I'm going to do now, is, is go through the games that we played in that final round. Um, but first, I'd like to actually, yeah, we'll get into some of the games. I'm also going to ask if people from those teams are present um, at uh, a point soon, if you could come down and give a quick overview of your uh, strategy for the rest of the class, who might be curious to find out how you approached this project. OK, so. Um, Time is of the essence here. We're going to get into what happened in these games in the finals. So the first game was set up like this. Um, <clears throat> we had um, this color assignment. And if I can just, um, actually, I think this is here. Um, oops. Um, so what's the command? This one. I'll show the game here. So we start out, you, you can look at this screen to see who's who, and you can look at this screen to see what's happening in the game. I'm just going to step through it really quickly. Um, so this first game was kind of interesting, and not a lot of conflict happened. Uh, the players all started out kind of moving, um, moving into their sort of starting formations. Um, <clears throat> and there wasn't a lot of conflict. This game wasn't super interesting, but basically red kind of went around and the other two kind of clashed against each other and blocked each other and red was able to finish first, which was uh, team ZW. So congratulations there. One point in the final. Um, <coughs> and that's game one. <coughs> okay. Uh, we need more games, obviously, to get a, to get a, um, a reliable result. So we move on to with a different color assignment. I've just rotated the colors around um, for game B. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. This game was slightly more interesting, actually, because we actually had some conflict. Um, <clears throat> so I started to notice that um, C-3PO's initial strategy, they're, they're playing red now, um, was to kind of split up into um, kind of two different directions, whereas um, ZW 
sort of kept together, and um, they're, they're playing blue in this case, and checking system kind of had, um, they kind of expanded out broadly, and then we're looking for trouble, it seems. Um, anyway, this, we have a bit of conflict here. Um, so there was a bit of a fight um, on two fronts. In the end of this fight, um, it seemed that um, not much actually changed in the distribution of pieces, but the locations changed. And in particular, green checking system is sort of won their way down to the bottom of the board near their exiting section, and, um, and they're going to use that to good effect. Um, let's see, they've got one exit. They need one more. Um, the board is kind of... The blue, blue's come out on top in terms of the, um, the number of pieces here, but um, it'll be a bit of a race to see who gets home first. In particular, green is, ha has more exits than blue um, at this point, and it looks like they're going to win the race. And so the second game goes to checking system. Well done. <clears throat> um, OK, it's getting interesting. So in the third game, the, the other assignment of colors, um, <clears throat> let's see. This is the assignment of colors. Um, <clears throat> we see the same kind of strategies coming out. Um, and also, there's some more conflict in this one. Um, blue, which is um, <clears throat> C3PO is, is sort of splitting up. Um, green, uh, ZW is trying to stick together. Um, there's a bit of conflict in the bottom corner down here. <clears throat> and in the end, I think not much changes as a result of the conflict. But blue kind of gets away around um, the top and, and manages to exit with all of their pieces. So if you're keeping track, we've got to the end of the first lot of three games, and all of the finalists have, have won a game. So we're going to need to play some more games to try and get a result. Uh, but this is, this is indicating how close it was at the top end. And um, I guess I'll use this point to stress that a lot of these games became pretty close at the top end. So um, there are many teams that aren't shown today that um, had similar kind of results. But we'll move on to the next round of games um, between the same players. So this is... <coughs> the color assignment now. Um, we're rotating again, so everyone's going to get another chance at each of the colors, but um, just in a slightly different order, I think. Um, so, so we haven't seen this particular assignment of colors before. Um, it's just a different permutation. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. This game, let me consult my notes, started off in a similar fashion. Um, for example, you can see blue kind of splits up. That's C3PO. Um, red, which is ZW, kind of stays in a group. Um, there's not much conflict going on. There was, a, there was a little bit. Red ended up one piece ahead. Um, but now there's a bit of a problem. Um, we have a bit of a blockage on Red's exit, and the other players have sort of realized they don't have enough pieces to, to get away, even though they're close to their end goals. So they kind of, they kind of realized that it, actually a draw would be a good situation uh, <laughs> for, for everyone except for Red here, and that's what happens. Um, it's, a, it's a stalemate. Um, Okay, so let's see if we can get a result. Um, <clears throat> so move on to another color assignment. Um, <clears throat> this game was quite interesting. <clears throat> so we have the same kind of strategies of C3PO, which is red at the moment, um, splitting up, and um, the other two kind of forming, forming their groups. I'll go back one. Um, <clears throat> and now there's some conflict. And the result of this conflict ends up being that no one is, is ahead on pieces. It's sort of even trades back and forth. So we'll step through it. Um, blue takes red, then red takes blue, then green takes blue, because blue is kind of exposed. And then blue takes green back, and then red takes blue, and then um, blue takes red. And so in the end, everyone's still got four pieces. I think it's almost the end. Yeah, that's the end of that little bit of conflict. But uh, I guess what's changed is that... Um, before, red was on the other side of blue, so red's kind of moved past blue. Uh, it seems that they're getting close to their, um, their goal. They've kind of overcome a major obstacle, which was the big blue block. Um, green is also quite close to their goal. Um, I can't remember how this one ends. Um, OK, so green kind of is able to um, move down the bottom with, with their whole pieces as a team. Um, and I think that's going to allow them to make the four exits first. And one more, and they did it. 
So ZW is one ahead, and so the final round will determine who the winner is. <clears throat> I may have just given it away. This is the only color assignment that we haven't tried. Um, <clears throat> so let's see what happens. Um, we've got some splitting up by green. Um, we've got forming a group by blue. The players are quite good at avoiding conflict. This was something that I, that I noticed. Um, we've had a little bit of conflict, but they're, they're not making any silly moves. They're not throwing any pieces away. Um, in the end, in this case, I think blue is just going to get around and it will be fast enough to finish before the other two do. Which means that ZW is our champion team. Congratulations. <laughs> so, um, the last thing that we'll do then is, is to, um, to get the winners here, the, the students that are behind these artificial intelligent, uh, artificially intelligent agents of the game of Texas to come down and give us a brief description of what they've done. So, um, so let's see. So uh, we could do it in any order, I guess. Um, but how about checking system? Uh, Natalie and, and turn here. Um, yep, come down the front. Please give these guys a round of applause. Checking system showed a really strong performance throughout the entire tournament, and um, as you as you just saw, nearly nearly won. So congratulations. Um, would you be able to describe for us just briefly your broad approach to the to the project? Uh, How does your agent work? Yeah. So we decided to use uh, a search system called uh, Best Reply Search. Okay. So Best like Reply a, Search. Yeah. So it's like a, a small variant of, of Minimax, which is like um, works in a way that it only considers the move of uh, the player who can make the best counter move to Okay, so, so yeah. you've reduced yeah. it to a two-player problem yeah. by kind of assuming that one of the players isn't going to yeah. hurt you exactly. for now. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, as a heuristic, we didn't really do anything really fancy. We just picked how uh, use hand pick weights. And, yeah. yeah, okay, so a hand, um, handmade evaluation function. Yeah. Did you find that using that assumption made you be able to search quite a bit deeper? Um, yeah, and it was easier to use uh, alpha and beta for it. Right, because yeah. it's two players now. Nice. Yeah. Well, well done. Yeah. <coughs> and congratulations. We've got, um, yeah, we've got a certificate for um, you as well. <coughs> How about um, people from um, C3PO, Thomas and Xavier, do you guys want to come down? <coughs> you Congratulations to C3PO as well. Um, so could you give us a brief, come up to the microphone, could you give us a brief overview of how C3PO works? Is, is that how you say it? C3PO? Yeah, I don't know. C3PO 24? Yeah, C3PO 24. There we go, alright. So we use Minimax and then considered everyone to be against us. Like a paranoid kind of reduction? Yeah, okay. And what we did was um, we only, like, in our representation of the board, we only, can like, searched with pieces that were relevant. So like we had a distance measure and like if pieces were on the other side of the board, we like removed them from our search. So then it was sort of like rem removing, like reducing the branching factor so we could search deeper. Yeah. So um, that was like, that was the main thing. That was the main thing we did, yeah. That's quite interesting. So, so here's an example where you guys are blue. So you're saying you would sort of only search the, the possible counter moves coming from the green and red pieces that are actually that are close actually to your blue pieces. Yeah, 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 the yeah okay. The ones we just ignored because we were only searching like however deep anyway, so they actually couldn't get to you. Anyway. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah. I, I like the, the idea of that. Anything else yeah. that you... Yeah, well, we dynamically changed like how deep we searched as well in our mini mats depending on like cool. what, whether it was useful or not. So, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Some of the examples of that. Like if you were really close to everyone else, then you couldn't search so deep because you had too many pieces to consider, things like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you were sort of able to squeeze out a little bit of extra search depth yes. when you could. When we do it. Yeah, yeah, nice. I like that. And then we just used TD Lee's land off to like... Okay. Did that, did that work out? Do you do any evaluation to see if that was better than handpick weights? Yeah, it was better than handpick weights. And I think that's what made our weird strategy because it sort of worked out that like, you know, 
had a certain amount of distance and like stayed towards the edge and stuff. Right, and okay, keeping to the edges. Why ours plays quite unorthodox. Okay. Yeah, like, like cool. we, we actually originally, like our hand-picked weights at the start were more similar to reds, like stay together, stay close to the centre maybe, but then... By the end, we were um, it had learned yeah. that go near the edges. <laughs> learned fine. not to listen to yeah. you guys and yeah. to figure out for itself how to play the game. All right, that's yeah. awesome. Good. Well done. Did yeah. you try anything that didn't work out? <laughs> terribly oh, fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, well, a Monte Carlo. Yeah. Uh, we had to like do it. Um, we had to figure out for ourselves like how deep we could search at different times. Like we had to just yeah. do that trial and error. Max end didn't work either. Yeah. We tried lots of things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well done. We've got a certificate for you guys as well. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> there's another one. Oh, so, yes. This one. This one. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and our finalists. So, when Rui and Zisho, are you guys here? <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> So congratulations on winning the Chexus tournament. Um, tell us how you did it. Uh, what I did is uh, six step maximum search for Step the, six? Yes, yeah, step six. Okay. <laughs> and by, uh, I haven't prepared anything. No, that's uh, okay. Just <laughs> I, for the evaluation function, I focus on the team cooperation. And uh, I also evaluate the danger that that step will be. For example, if I, uh, for example, next step will be very dangerous, I will avoid that. And I uh, decided to uh, show the danger by considering two colors. If I will be attacked by two colors simultaneously, it will <laughs> be very dangerous, and I will definitely want, don't want to do that case. Right. If I can just be attacked by one, and I also can accept it back, or maybe move to my goal, I will be accept that. Okay, all right, that's quite interesting. So what you're kind of saying is that you you can um, you can you can almost squeeze a little bit of extra depth by kind of saying, well, okay, um, there's a lot of uncertainty when there's two players that could potentially harm me, but yeah. if it's only one, maybe I can I can take them on. Yeah. And and what you said before about the teamwork. Um, is that referring to the pieces yeah, staying close together? Yes, they could together. <clears throat> that worked quite well if you if you were following in the games because it seemed like in a lot of those games your group kind of just as a whole moved around the others and yeah. then made it to the finish line. Exactly. Nice. So great work. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Should I give you a uh, certificate to you as well, or we can keep it on contact? Uh, maybe you keep it. Okay. Sure. All right. Cool. Um, so that. Uh, concludes the project. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll have marks back to you um, as soon as possible, and, and et cetera, et cetera. But um, I hope you all enjoyed uh, learning to play Chexes and teaching your computers to play Chexes as well.